protect the objective. Hey guys, it's Davo the Big Afro here, bringing you my first Black Ops 2 gameplay. Now, it's been quite a while since I've uploaded a commentary. I've been too busy with schoolwork, to be honest. But I'm getting back into the swing of things and uploading quite regularly now. Now, the topic I wanted to talk to you about today is my favourite weapon in Black Ops 2 as of now. I've used quite a few of the weapons in this game, and the one that stood out to me the most was the PDW-57. It's a submachine gun that you unlock at level 4, so you can use it as soon as you've unlocked Creator Class. And it's probably the strongest one in the class. Maybe competing with the MSMC, but I prefer this one. Well, the reason I prefer it mainly is due to the large 50 round magazine, which just outshadows any of the other weapons really. The only one that can compare to this is the MP7, which has a 40 round magazine, but I don't feel that's enough. Now, there are some downsides to this weapon. It does have quite a slow rate of fire at around 720 rounds per minute, which is significantly slower than the Scorpion Evo, which shoots at around 1200 rounds per minute. But it's actually the same rate of fire as the MSMC. So statistically, the MSMC and the PDW are quite similar. The only difference really being recoil patterns and the magazine size, as I've mentioned already. Now, in terms of damage profiles, the PDW has the second highest damage in the submachine gun class, dealing 35 damage points at close range and 18 damage points at long range, which translates to a roughly a 3 hit kill at close range and a 6 hit kill at long range. Now, the only other gun that is higher than this is the MSMC, with 40 damage at close range. But this doesn't really have much of a difference, apart from increasing the range of the free hit kill, because 40 damage still is a free hit kill at close range. By the way, if you didn't already know, in normal game types, the players have 100 points of health, and in hardcore game types, you have 30 points of health. Just telling you that. And oh, and one last thing: if you get a headshot you, on normal guns, that multiplies the damage by 1.4. So for the PDW, it would be 35 times 1.4. I'm not going to bother to do the maths, but I'm sure you can work it out. Oh, and if you look at the gameplay, it's coming to the end of the first round, and I think I'm going around 22 and 0, so it looks like it might be a flawless gameplay, maybe? Okay, in the second half of this video, i will like to talk to you about my recommended class setups for the PDW57. Hopefully I haven't bored you to death with all the statistics I've been talking about in the first half, but if you've stayed around to this point then thank you very much, and carry on to listen. So, my recommended class setup for, well, any situation really, is to use either silencer and laser sight, which I'm using in this I think, or maybe fast mags and a uh, grip maybe, that's quite a good setup. The perks really, it doesn't really matter, if you've unlocked ghosts at this point then I'd recommend you use that because there's so many UAVs spam around about this time of the year, everyone's just using UAVs, struggling to get a high kill streak, so you might as well just use ghost. But if you don't really feel like you need Ghost, you can go with Hardline or Lightweight so you can rush into their spawn. Or if you're playing an objective game type, use some um, Black Jacket and Tactical Mask as well. Now, for a secondary weapon, you don't really need one, but if you have to, I'd recommend a B23R. It's quite powerful gun, 3 round burst. And that's about it, really. For kill streak setup, well, you could use the UAV, the Lightning Strike, and I don't know, the, the stealth chopper maybe? Or if you're feeling a bit ambitious, you could go for the orbital VSAT, the dogs and the swarm. Or maybe lodestar dog swarm if you're a really good player. Well, it all depends on personal preference and personal ability in the game. In this gameplay, I was using the counter UAV, the stealth chopper and the VSAT. I don't think it was the best choice for kill streaks as they didn't really rack up many kills at all. I got about 8 kills with the stealth chopper and about, well, quite a few UAV assists, counter UAV assists and VSAT assists. Well, thanks for watching so far, hopefully you've carried on listening. I know I've rambled on about a lot of random stuff in this gameplay, but, well, it's my first commentary in ages, I'm a bit rusty. You've got to allow that. And now that's the end of the gameplay, round win, target destroyed. I win, um, 41-0 flawless, probably my best gameplay to date. Well, 
Maybe. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Peace out. Oh, and by the way, Tales of Eternity is the best game in the world.